this is about stereochemistry of acetylcholine and the first picture is about ball without hydrogen ball model without hydrogen this is with uh, carbon and this is nitrogen and this is oxygen okay now the structure is without any hydrogen we shall see uh, with the hydrogen the structures see these are the uh, structures with hydrogen this is carbon carbon nitrogen carbon 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 oxygen oxygen carbon carbon hydrogen hydrogen the same structure without hydrogen and with hydrogen for our simple viewing so nothing important or no difference between this one and that one so this is cs3 thrice a nitrogen we should have a plus symbol ch2 ch2 o c o cs3 it is shortly written as oac and this is nme3 plus okay now now we have to look at this point fifth and fourth position we have to look at fifth and fourth position we have to look at and that we shall see it in the next one how this is projected so according to this one this oac is below and n me3 is above okay so now let us see how it is looked into the different newman projection so according to this confirmation n me3 is below oac is below okay the same here n me3 is below and oac below and that brings about gauge interaction the same thing in when the carbon front carbon from here it is rotated and you will get n me3 plus at the top and oac at the bottom and this is called anticlinal anticlinal position anticlinal position because the both the groups are opposite to each other both the groups are opposite to each other and it is far away far away from the Uh, interaction so it is anticlinal position and this is actually trans compound this is actually a trans compound and also called as anticlinal nature whereas this one is syn compound and it is clinal syn clinal and it is having gauge interaction so according to stereochemistry this synclinal is not preferred not preferred but for interaction with this muscarinic receptor synclinal is preferred synclinal is preferred because it is having interaction of this one interaction of this hydrogen bonding and this makes the compound that is acetylcholine to take up less stable synclinal position synclinal conformer synclinal conformer now let us see the stereochemistry we have seen 
Now, what is important for uh, binding of uh, uh, ACH with receptors? So, it is here ester group is important, distance between nitrogen and ester group is correctly it should be and positively charged nitrogen is important and neutral carbon atom if present no activity and big molecule cannot be altered because the hydrophobic pocket is just enough for one CS3 group only and there must be two methyl groups on the nitrogen so that it fits into the packet and bigger ester group losses the activity. So, in simple terms uh, CS3 group must be present and ester group must be present and nitrogen must be positive and bigger group loses the activity. So, whatever we have studied in the previous minute, it is written here, say staggered form, eclipsed form, it is not at all stable, eclipsed form is not stable, gauge conformer is somewhat stable and trans isomer is very very stable, but the preferred isomer is this one in the case of binding the mascarinic receptor. This is not preferred, this is not preferred, this is not preferred, this is not preferred and this is completely not preferred. But whereas this is the only confirmation which is preferred even though it is very less stable. One more, one more important point we have to remember the torsion angle. It is called torsion angle. Torsion angle. This we have to remember uh, what is meant by torsion angle. So, the distance angle between uh, this one is torsion angle and it is exactly fitting as 68 to 89 for other molecules for acetyl choline it is plus 77 for acetyl choline it is plus 77 and for other drugs it ranges between 68 to 89 so what is this torsion angle so the back carbon is fixed and this is rotated and that is found out how much of angle is needed so that it binds with the receptor. So that comes around 77 for acetylcholine plus 77. This is another version of writing the acetylcholine. So it is sin periplanar completely eclipsed, so not needed. Synclinal, this is the preferred form for binding. And this is stable, but not needed. Antiperiplanar, stable, but it is not that much important for uh, binding. 